Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your mid-September to October read of this current year. Hooray! You are not dead yet. It's always a good sign. It's always a good sign. Anyway, Gemini, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It's just a card game after all. Won't work if you don't believe in it, right? Just boop your nose and there we go. Right? Right. Also, thank you to everybody who has asked for a reading, watches my videos, subscribes, all that jazz, right? Newcomers, your very first reading is on the house. Everything else comes with the price. And I too take tips and donations. All info is in the description box below. Gemini, your first card. Also, cross watch or switch where you need to. You know. You know who you are. Just take what's yours and leave the rest with a pound of salt. So, what card are we starting out with, Gemini? There's a reference from the past that you're taking with the future when dealing with people that probably brought on a tower moment. Um, something from back in the day does might have rocked your world today. Or sometime during this period, right? Your thoughts and feelings is like, it's not fair that you're only getting one pentacle while someone else is getting bunches. And the root of that feeling is because you don't feel like you have a victory. You are a person you're dealing with, right? Now, right here, you might want to be trying to fix on your broken heart with three of swords. Trying to recover from that. You might want to communicate maybe with an Aquarius. Might want to reach out and get some ether. And there you are, Gemini, with the lovers. You want to see some booty action. Ah, bent her. Your vibration is the queen of pentacles. You can do bad all by yourself. And the other cards are over here. Because these fell. Um, we got the ace of swords, princess of swords, and... Nine of cups reverse. It's like someone came to an idea in their many, many snooperies, either on social media or just looking something up or just trying to find information that some wish fulfillment is not as good as they once thought it to be. You know, like, it doesn't make them giggle anymore. Not the way a certain Sandra? I don't know where that came from. Not the way Sandra used to do, you know? But here, Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, right? She is... Just making bad all by herself. She can manifest shit on her own. She looks like she's got a good time. She doesn't have to wear shoes where she's at. Which is fucking awesome, right? Who doesn't like not wearing shoes? Anyway. Yeah, there's something from back in the day that like you're taking reference to in regards to this tower. Like something to just hit you like oof. You know? And now it seems like you've gotten very little compared to somebody else. All stemming from some victory that you didn't obtain. Or maybe there was an enemy here. We also have someone trying to recover from a broken heart. Possibly an Aquarius. Who might be wanting to reach out or communicate to you. One of the two. We'll just have to wait and see. So with the Six of Cups over here, Gemini. You were definitely looking at something or somebody from the past and remembering something. Queen of Swords, once again, could be you, Aquarius, Libra. Might having to cut something out. Possibly a water sign, King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You might be able to see something. You might not, you be, like, you know, your air signs are always thinking. But, uh, you're using your thinking to combine with your, um, emotions in order to figure things out or whatever. And... Whatever it is, possibly with the water sign, you're not really trying to come to some sort of bold decision or choice with them. You might not even know if that's the right course of action to take. We got this tower down here. Ah, the Emperor. Aries's car. Someone might have been a little bit too controlling. Uh, they had a lot of intention and hunger. Once again, the Knight of Swords. Might have wanna came in and fight you over this lover situation right here. And now they're all like, God damn it, it's all like confusing and shit. You know, five of coins. They got concerns. They got complexities. They got questions. They're not sure how they're gonna deal with stuff effectively. Right? Ah. 
Empress might be a little bit bitter about like a separation because she and Temperance both reverse popped up for a second. All right, the Six of Cups right here. What's up with it? Yeah, okay, so there's the Empress. Like I was saying, she's kind of bitter. She's kind of upset. Could be Aries, Taurus, Libra, that Venetian energy, right? Uh, she's all mad. She does not want to take a leap of faith. And that's got someone feeling like there's some things that they're just not going to be able to get over correctly because of it, right? This tower right here with all the complexities and everything. Uh, someone moved away to calmer waters. <sighs> Trying to get some wish fulfillment, right? But earlier we saw that the wish fulfillment wasn't as good as what they thought it was. And that came out not to work in their favor. It might have been a little bit of injustice on their part too, right? So then we have the Six of Pentacles in... Oh, that's the wrong deck. Jesus. Six of Pentacles in the Wants and Wishes. No, well, no, wait. That's the Thoughts and Feelings. Wrong spread, Faith Ann. You crazy, crazy lady. You or somebody else might be feeling like, um... Everybody else is getting more while you're just left with this one little pentacle. Now you're trying to come out of that, see things from a different perspective with the hermit you went inside and now you're trying to come out of it. You just don't know how you're going to work your savvy and ingenuity in this situation with the three of wands reverse. And you might, yeah, it's got something to do with your past, dude. Like there's something or somebody you're dealing with. Who is um, looking to the past now because of something that happened because it's like a, it's almost like a trigger or a switch. You know, it's just like, why is this person getting this, but I'm not getting anything. And it's just a period of time where you, um, you or your person like was really just not given what they needed, I think. And now they got like the jealousy going on here a little bit. Like, why is everyone getting their blessings, but I'm not? But it's something to do with the past. The root of that, six of wands. Someone did not get a victory. Strength reverse. They're very much restricting themselves because of that, too. Eight of swords are trying to get out of being trapped and confined. They were restricted, they were trapped and confined. And they are tired of feeling heartbroken. Once again, Three of Swords. We have the Three of Swords up there, too. Could have been a Capricorn, but it also could be where you got out of a situation with another person that wasn't good for you. Could be Capricorn. We do have the Queen of Pentacles over on the side. Doesn't have to be. Alright. This uh, Six of Pentacles reverse, what is up with it? You know, trying to find happiness, you know, you're trying to be happy. You're trying to get to the start of it all. It's just, it, it seems like you're really not trying to go into the battle as much as you want to. Maybe it's this Queen of Pentacles right here, but that's supposed to be your vibration, so I don't know. Maybe you're not trying to fight for it right now. Um, or you're not trying to fight a water sign. Feeling like it's not worth arguing with somebody who's got like a dead ass stare, acts like they don't like they're the Terminator and just doesn't react appropriately to emotions or something like that. I don't know. All right, this uh, Six of Wands reverse down here. It feels like ever, like lack of closure. Things didn't end correctly. The cycle didn't complete well. Someone was like a martyr. Wasted time. And now there's like a burden that like needs to be gotten rid of. Queen of Pentacles. Let's see what's up with her. What is up with this vibration of the Queen of Pentacles? Uh, you're definitely being able to pres persevere or endure. You're ready to put up a fight if you have to while you create. But you definitely have the queen of... Okay, you might have had to have your defenses up because you weren't in the most comfortable position, but now you are. Uh, you still are uh, just a tad bit mourning about all of this missed opportunity you did have, but it's like you're almost starting over. Or you're trying to start over anyway. Oh, Lord. These cards are just jumping for you guys today. 
um, might have been a relationship that went down the tubes, right? Some connection that you had with somebody. You are still mourning that, but it's time to take those cups, get on the get the fuck over it bridge, and buy yourself a set of shoes. And just put an end to the shit. Death card. Once again, Scorpio. You definitely could be dealing with the Scorpio. Or just a water sign in general with Scorpio in their charter. Just somebody. But it's like, it's time to put an end to this shit. Three of Swords reverse. Trying to heal that broken heart, Gemini. Um, it's not going to reap any rewards. Seven of Pentacles reverse. Um, could be Nine of Pentacles reverse right here, just in general. Um, wow, I went from the seven to the two real quick. Like, that's a hell of a drop, man. That's like, you know... I don't... Okay. Hmm. Something didn't end, and you already had the Three of Swords down here, and it's like, because it didn't end correctly, so it has... Oh my god, if I could talk. It didn't end correctly because somebody was wasting time with a burden that they should have let go of. Now up here with the Three of Coins, it's once again, it's like something isn't being reaped and it's like someone's confused about what choices to take and it's like this went from the seven to the two like we already had the six over here and went up to the seven but now seven is negative that's like negative one and then we got negative three it's like that's a lot of like droppage man uh, unearthly mystical i think like in some way you're not Someone's just not handling their emotions really well. It's like they it's like unearthly mystical. I like to say like more like mania a little bit. It's like you never know how they're going to um come out. And I think that's the problem why this uh two of pentacles reverse is so it's a confusing endeavor. It's just like you don't know how to react to this individual, this water sign, I feel like. We got the star, Aquarius' card. Someone want to reach out or communicate? You know, change, shift, shave, get that booty with uh, the Knight of Wands, Leo Sag Aries. Come out of this confinement with uh, blacked or clouded. They want to get out of that with the Ten of Swords. With whatever it is they've learned. And they're going to take the time to learn to get the knowledge and insight with the Eight of Coins. Okay. So at least here... There is, um... Uh, you could be trying to heal from an Aquarius. Hmm... I don't know, Gemini. I don't know. Here's your car with the lovers. What's up with this little shindig, right? Page of coins, message, expression. Someone might be moving with some valuable offer right here. Um, that it's it, it, nothing's coming from it with the three coins. It was all just a waste of energy and time. But someone's still a little bit shy and timid about that with the eight of cups right here. It's like they're too scared to um actually walk away from this shit. Three swords up top. What's up with it, please? Seven of cups. Options, which leads to ending things. And moving forward with the chariot. Once again, another water sign. You guys got a lot of water you're dealing with. You know? The star card, what's up with it, is... Even if you were, okay, if you were to communicate with whoever this is, if it's an Aquarius or if this is just your desire, I feel like nothing's going to come from it. Or nothing of value is going to come from it. So it's like you probably do have to cut that shit out. Or you're not making an offer out to it because you're taking the time to try to figure shit out on what to cut out, but you're not sure about that yet. Right? Then when it comes to you with the lovers right here... Um, someone needs to play some games and make someone go away, pretty much, is what that's telling me. In order to, uh, get their head straight out of this situation, Gemini, 
Because there's a lot of unfairness going on in this situation. Everyone's dealing with somebody fucking around with them. Like, so far, man. It's like... It's like you want to deal with the person, but at the same time, it's just kind of like... it's. It might be time to end whatever it is. It's like uh, bringing up all these bad memories with you, I feel like. I feel like it's like you need to cut somebody out in order to recover it, but you don't know how to. And you're not sure how to go about it without, like, I don't know, I guess being completely mean? But I'm not even sure you're worried about being mean to somebody either. Like, you might not have even thought about it. I don't know. But that's up to you, Gemini. But that's what I got for you for this particular cycle. Yay. I hope you guys are doing well and all that. If you enjoyed this video and you're new, feel free to like, share, and subscribe if that's what you want to do. No pressure, of course, but I'd greatly appreciate it. Okay. I'll talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye-bye.